happen. Okay? taking your model digitals there are pivotal things that you need to do very first thing model basics for your model digitals at minimum you should know that you'll be taking a head shot sometimes it's also called a beauty shot or one fourth shot second you should be taking a profile shot which means that your face is diagonal from the camera third you should be taking a half body or one half shot so the end of the photo should be around your belly button or your thigh area and last but not least, you should be taking a full body shot. This will allow the client to see what you look like from head to toe. So again, you'll be taking a close-up or a beauty shot. You'll be taking a profile shot. You'll take a half body shot. And then you'll take a full body shot. At minimum, those are the four shots that models take when they're getting their digitals taken. However, tip number two, always do your research before stepping onto the floor honestly you should be doing your research before you even reach out to myself or any other photographers that's going to be taking your headshots and the reason i say that is because when doing your research you need to know everything that you need to be shooting some agencies require side shots some agencies require back full body shots some agencies might require you to walk a little bit. Some agencies might even require you to do a self tape. That's why it's very pivotal for you to know what exactly needs to be submitted. So by the time you reach out to the photographer and you come onto the floor, we already have a general idea of what all needs to be taken that day. Third tip, as we can see, I have on all black. As we can see, my all black is form fitting. It needs to be form fitting so that the client or the agent can be able to see your body shape and just what you're working with. Pro tip, please make sure that you don't wear these clothes on a regular. It's very cold up here, so I accidentally put on the wrong pair of pants. So I'm gonna be, you know, editing this little bleach stain, but please, the clothes that you're wearing in your hair shots should be in your model bag, which we're gonna be talking about that in a separate video. The clothes that you wear for your model hair shots should be and stay in your model bag. These should not be clothes that you wear out with your girls and then you decide to wear it for a shoot one day. No, the wear and tear of the clothes will show, especially when you get that photo back. So again, form fitting clothes, black top, black jeans, or white top and jeans. The jeans should have no holes, no distress, none of that, as well as the top, it should have Minimal to no low goals because again, the goal is for you to show off your body to the agent or the client, not to win best dress. <laughs> so now, you know, you're ready to take your digitals. Your bag is very important. Please make sure that you have some type of lotion, body butter, something that's not too oily, but something to where you can be able to moisturize your skin. Me, I like to keep shea butter with me always 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 i love to keep me a good little shea butter because it's multi-purpose i can be able to use it for my body my feet and my lips and as far as what else you may want to bring in your bag personally i would say hair ties because you know my braids are long but for the sake of head shots i decided to put it in a bun because this is how i would typically wear my hair most when i'm going to clients and things like that however if you come book with your girl very first thing, I'm gonna have you come in, get settled. I have a space for you to like put all your belongings, bags, coats, whatever. Um, and then we also have a mat. As we can see, this is a white floor and it was painted by one of our in-house artists. So we have you step on the mat to just try and get some of, some of the dirt off. So all of the dirt will transfer from outside to on the floor. So taking your headshots on your own. My biggest tip is like, but every time I took my headshots at home, which I will add some photos right here. They gave, but it didn't really give like how it should have because I needed more lights. I have this ring light, which I could put up here. 
that I was using to take my headshots at home and no shade. No shade, it just wasn't enough light. Sadly though, how my apartment is, I don't really get too much natural light. So that's why I was trying to use the ring light and it still wasn't enough. But if your apartment has a lot of good natural light, I would suggest definitely shooting at home. And you know what, even if your apartment doesn't, I feel like you should still shoot just to try. Because you still may never know how it turns out. And also that can get you still comfortable shooting in front of the camera, practicing, getting comfortable solo shooting, because that's way different than just like taking your photos. But as we can see right here, I have the camera set up for me. Okay, so as we can see right here, you see how we have the timer. We I'm gonna give myself 10 seconds just so I can have enough time to shoot. I prefer to do the full body photos first because that's kind of where my weak spot is versus close-ups. If you're shooting at home and if you don't have a camera or anything to see yourself, I would say stand right in front of the lens. Not, don't even focus about the camera. In the lens, there's like a little circle in that very middle. That's where you need to be looking at and that's where you should be positioning your body. Okay, we got our lights, we got the camera prepped, you're standing in the middle of the lens and you're looking directly into that circle in the lens of the camera. That's when I would press to shoot. Then I give myself 10 seconds just so I can be able to, you know, deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna have a whole separate video on how to pose and just what to do when you're posing. Since I have the phone, I'm gonna just see myself and see how far I need to scoot up or scoot back. Okay, we got the timer. And again, if you're shooting at home, play around a little bit. Deep breath in, deep breath out, have some music going. We don't have no music going because we record a YouTube video. But you know, have some music going because it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error with you figuring out the positioning for your shots. Which is why I also say do a full body because you might struggle a little bit more with full body than just a simple close-up. So okay, we're about to test run. Let me shoot this way.